the Hypnotic World Epicenter, MikeMandelHypnosis.com. Here's our first example of power language. And this is a very, very useful one to understand because I've used this in hypnosis many, many times. I've used this in ways that are quite remarkable, and you will too. This is the word try. Try is a really nasty word if you're not careful how you use it because try implies failure. What do we say? If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. It's built right in that you're going to keep trying and keep failing. Hey, Tom, how did that son of yours do in the gymnastics meet? Oh, he, he really tried his best, Phil. He failed, didn't he? Yes, he did. He failed, but, but he really tried. And he failed? Yes, but he just he tried so hard. And he failed, didn't he? Yes. See, try implies failure. It's an excuse for all sorts of things. Let's say you got to move this weekend, and there's this amazing loft you've always wanted to live in, and it's suddenly become available. But due to some bizarre municipal law, you've got to take possession of it this Saturday. And you're like, ah, so you sign all the papers and you've got to be moved in. But you can't get a mover. It's last minute. And you'll never get your stuff over there without a mover. And everybody's been booked for months. And so you realize, a guy you vaguely know at work, Fred, he's got a truck. You remember, he's got an 18-foot truck. And you phone him up. You say, Fred, what are you doing Saturday morning? Now, he's hedging at first because he doesn't know you're going to ask him to go fishing or something fun. Or is this something you want him to do? And he says, well, uh, I don't know. I'm going to be kind of busy. What do you got in mind? You say, well, I have to move on Saturday around 7.30. I'm hoping you'll come around with that truck of yours and help me. And right away he says, well, like I said, I'm going to be busy, but I'll try. Is he going to show up? No, we know he's not. Based on previous thousands of experiences with other people. But we still hope this time it's going to work. And you say, thank you, Fred. Thank you. Really try your best. Saturday morning rolls around, you got all your stuff out by the curb, you're still dragging the last few items out, 7.30's not there, 8.30's not there. At 9.30 you realize he's not going to show, he's not answering his cell phone, so you drag all the stuff over there by yourself, including a baby grand piano, and you move it in yourself up four flights of stairs to the loft, and you blow out a double inguinal hernia, your neck is permanent torticollis, you will never be the same. But you're moved in and you got your new place. Sunday rolls around, you feel terrible, you're paralyzed from all the pain of moving the stuff alone. Monday's even worse. The second day after exercise, it really hits. And you drag yourself into work and you walk like you've had a car crash. And Fred's there pouring a coffee. He says, wow, what happened to you? Did you have an accident? You say, no, Fred, it was that move. I, I almost killed myself getting that grand piano upstairs alone and moving everything without a truck. It took me till 4 a.m. Where were you? He says, oh, yeah, that. Well, I got kind of busy, but I did try to make it. Now, what's your response? Do you shake his hand warmly? Your eyes well up with tears of gratitude. Thank you, Fred. Thank you. You're a true human being. Thank you for trying. Of course not. He's done nothing. Don't accept try from people. And don't give it to them either. Don't offer it. If someone says, I'll try, immediately say, is that a yes or a no? You can say it nicely. Is that a yes or a no? Well, it's a no. That's cool. If someone says no, now you can keep asking other people until someone says yes. Try keeps you stuck. Trying is lying. Try has built-in failure, which is why it's such a powerful hypnotic tool. When you want someone to fail at a task, tell them to try. Because the brain understands they're going to try and fail. And in a moment, I want you to try to open your eyes. And the harder you try, the tighter they will stay stuck. So the person, okay, now try. And they're trying to open their eyes, which will become cataleptic. And try harder. The more you tell them to try harder, the harder it continually becomes. Use try when you want them to fail. When I would take away someone's name on stage, by the way, what was your name, putting it past tense, and I'll teach you how to do that in a later lesson. Person's ostensibly wide awake, but their name disappears. Um, I had it a minute ago, and I shoved the microphone in their face and say, try harder. Of course, their name is completely gone now. The very effort of trying makes it impossible to access the material. Try means fail. Use try when you want someone to fail at a task. It's hypnotic. The Hypnotic World Epicenter, MikeMandelHypnosis.com.